I lost my father. I know how it is to not have the same opportunity as other people get to have. I really don't know how to describe my thoughts about the whole situation. I was waiting for this moment to come, but I wasn't ready at the same time for it to come. Because looking at the time I've been here, and just the thought that I won't be able to share the moments again with my friends, my teammates, the people I've met here. Yeah, I remember very well. It was winter of 2017, and it was the craziest winter that I experienced because it was the first time that I came to the beautiful country, the beautiful city, and I had the experience snow for the first time. So it was crazy cold for me. In that moment, I felt like I was not going to manage to, say, to stay here. At the same time, it was a moment that I was looking forward to. I was really waiting for the moment that I can come to Europe and pursue my dreams, which was really special for me because I was given the chance and I was reminded that someone has seen something special in me, which even not myself managed to see. So. I wasn't really going to be part of that team. And what happened was the day before traveling, one player wasn't able to travel. So that's how I was told that I would travel with the team in his place. So I remember the fitness trainer actually, Patrick Ivey told me, this is your moment. Go and do what you do best. So. When we went there, I just thought that maybe this is the time for me to show what is in me. And I believe in using every opportunity that I have because for me, I live with the principle that my future is today. So if I mess up today, my future will be destroyed. So I wanted to utilize that moment and when I was given a chance, I have known Enoch for a long time. We have been friends for a long time. We have been playing together for quite a long time. So he's more like a brother to me. Someone I can count on not only on the field but outside the field. He's always there for me and I'm there for him. So going to a different place where he won't be there, it's not going to be easy. But we prepared ourselves for this moment. We talked about this moment way before we even thought that it will happen. So we have to be ready for it. We have to just continue supporting each other even when we are far away from each other. It's not football that will just make us to be together, but we'll be meeting in different places for different reasons. So I'd gone to different places, different countries where I wasn't accepted, where people didn't see what Salzburg saw in me. And the time that I've spent here, if at all in my next life I was taught to choose if I would come here again, I would definitely be here again. And I would recommend everyone who's trying to make a step because Red Bull gives you the opportunity and there's no much pressure here. So you are able to develop. They are very patient with everyone everything a player or a person would want from life, from their football career, it's all found here. So I would definitely recommend it each and every day to every person who wants to develop in their career. 
after the season I felt that this is maybe the right time because I have at least managed to help the team achieve some of the goals that we had and at least I will go with my head held high proud to know that I did all I could to at least leave the team in a better position. Salzburg has taught me how to be a professional, how to live as a person, to live with different people in a different environment. I am still the same person. I have never changed. Still a guy who loves to smile. I cannot be put in a position which is greater than me, which I cannot manage to handle. So I believe that every challenge I face is because God has trusted me to say, you are the best person to handle this challenge. You are the one who's going to make things different. So I embrace it and I take it as it comes. It was not really an easy thing for me because I have been like, wanting to make a step in my career, but I didn't know when and what would take for me to make that step. So it didn't have anything to do with my, my performance last season. It played a part, but it wasn't really the driving force of the whole situation. I just felt that it was a moment, the right moment for me, because I think there was an opportunity for me to live in, uh, in winter, but I felt it was not the right time. And I felt that there were still more things that I have to do for the club. I don't want to look at the, how many trophies I won or what. That doesn't really, it's not the main drive for me. I, f I believe those are just like bonuses that come in for doing what I love. They're not the greatest inspiration for me. What really inspires me is to just give hope to someone out there, to the young kid out there who think that maybe it's not possible to achieve their dreams. Maybe because of where they are coming from, maybe they are orphans or maybe, I don't know. I lost my father. I know how it is to not have the same opportunity as other people get to have. So they just have to continue. Like you have to continue believing in yourself to just have someone you look up to. So I want to be that person who give hope, who give belief, even when I'm long gone. They have been so unbelievable to me. From the time I arrived here, they have been so patient with me. I'm so grateful for the support that they have given to me and to the team. During my time here, I feel like I owe it all to them for all that they have done, they have their support. So in this moment, I I don't think it is the last time for me to be here that I will never see them again because I believe we will still see each other again in the future. So yeah, I'm excited because I know that it's not a goodbye message to the fans. I believe that we'll see, we'll see each other again in the future and yeah, they should just continue to support uh, the club. and. Also me, I'll always be a fan of this club, regardless of where I go, whatever will happen, I'll always be part of this club. Mm -hmm.